The cleanup is underway in central Texas, where weekend storms claimed lives, destroyed homes, and turned roads into raging rivers. In Hayes County, the search continues for the missing. The Blanco River tore through Wimberley, Texas. The town's mayor calls it unprecedented. In 1929, we had a 33-and-a-half-foot uh, surge come through. That was the highest on record, and this one was topped out at 44 and a half feet before, the, before we lost uh, communications with the, with the gauge. Hundreds of homes were washed away, including a cabin where an entire family had gathered for the holiday weekend. Laura McComb, who is still missing along with her two children, called her sister as a storm hit. The house is floating down the water, and tell mom and dad that I love them. I love you, and pray. To the east, the storm hammered Houston, which saw more than 11 inches of rain Monday night. It pushed the city's many bayous over their banks. Texas Governor Greg Abbott declared a state of emergency in at least 40 Texas counties, and he also deployed the National Guard to help with recovery. He praised the response to the disaster. We see Texans respond by coming together, helping each other. We see that in Houston, Texas. We've seen it in other parts of the state.